um, I don't know what the numbers are in various European countries, but they do have their equivalent of the FDA, uh, probably not quite as bad. But there's a lot of things that could be done to bring down the cost, and that's something that very much concerns me. The FDA in this country uh, would probably love to regulate all kinds of new transhumanist technologies. They seem to keep expanding their reach. And that would be one way. I mean, wealthy people are going to better do medical tourism, but to other countries get these things done. So what we should be doing is bringing down the government barriers. So if, if you're pointing the finger at capitalism, I think you're exactly 180 degrees facing the wrong direction. We need to be breaking down government control of these things, allowing people to make their own choices. Um, capitalism, you know, capitalism is a term coined by Karl Marx, in case anybody isn't clear about that. Uh, it's, it's a very meaningless term. Uh, I think what we have to talk about is free markets versus government control. And what I'm seeing is that technologies, the adoption of technologies, especially medical technologies, is being slowed down by government control and regulation. So having more of that doesn't seem to me to be a very good answer. But uh, I'm not sure whether we strayed a long way from the original, uh, whoever the, is, is Julia, are you sharing this? Are we too far off the original topic now? Or is this relevant? I'm still here. Yeah, is, are we, have we strayed too far from the original topic? Or but, uh,